Hey, what's up? My name is Isaac Caruso. I'm a 32-year-old muralist, born and raised in the desert here in Phoenix. I've been making my living doing murals for about 10 years now. So today we're out here at my uh, latest mural in Phoenix, and I'm gonna give you some tips on how to get started as a muralist using spray paint. So when you're making mural art, the two most important things are the brand spray paint you use, whether that brand is high pressure or low pressure and your tips. So I'm gonna show you real quick the brands that I use as well as uh, the tips that make the murals behind me. So my favorite brand of artistic spray paint is Montana. There's a few out there, but I've been using them since I started. And in my opinion, they have the best color book and they're really easy to use. Um, this is their hardcore line. It's a high pressure can, it's good for filling in big areas of space quicker than you would a 94, which is low pressure, and you get really solid, uh, opaque lines with it. So if that's what you're going for, I would definitely recommend this brand. This right here is Montana 94, and this is where you get your really crazy thin artistic stuff, you know, lines that are like really thin. Um, it also has a more kind of avant-garde color book to it. So this is like hardcore's artsier cousin. Low pressure 94. Lastly, we have a rust -Oleum spray paint can with the adapter and a New York on top. Um, all these are high pressure and they're like the construction workers of the uh, spray paint family. Uh, really good light fastness. Um, so if you need it to be outside in the sun for a long time, this brand is awesome. Uh, you won't get a lot of thin, precise lines like you would at 94, but if you're just trying to fill in a big space quickly, would highly recommend this stuff and it's also the most affordable out there. So a uh, quick little tip is a great way to store your tips is go get a tackle box from Walmart or something. Partitions them off real nice so you can stay really organized like I am right here. Uh, probably my favorite cap in the world, multi-purpose and just generally good is the New York Fat. Uh, you get a lot of solid clean lines from it. You can get a little bit of precision but as far as filling in space, nothing's better. So it's a fat cap and it's called the New York Fat. My next favorite cap is a cream cap. Montana just came out with this a few years ago and it's a game changer. It pretty much makes spray paint into a portable airbrush gun. You get some crazy thin lines, tapers really well, and really solid, just all around great skinny cap. So this is a stock cap. They generally are horrible, except if you're using a technique called dusting. So if you just wanna have a light spray onto something, to uh, give a soft touch of a certain color. These are great. Um, they come stock on all Montana cans. That's 94 in hardcore. Lastly, uh, you might notice if you go to Home Depot, these caps right here that are male won't fit a regular Home Depot Rust-Oleum or Krylon uh, can of spray paint. So what we've done is engineered a adapter. So this is a male to male adapter and you can put on New York's or creams or stocks or whatever onto a regular Home Depot can. So when you're just starting out, uh, if you don't have mural space, there's a few things that you can work with. First off is just a regular brick cinder block wall. Uh, some most people get their start. Um, just be sure to buff it out using some Kills primer and then you can go to town on it, cover it up, do it over again, over again over again and photograph your work because then you'll have a portfolio and then you can maybe get some clientele. You can also just get large four by eight pieces of wood from Home Depot. Um, again, prime them up and then go to town painting it. Make sure that you take a lot of photographs of your work because then you can show people like, this is what I can do. Uh, get 10 solid photographs of things that you like that you think represent what you want to make as an artist and then shop it around. If you see a business that has an empty wall uh, that you'd like to paint on, approach them, show them your work, send them an email, be professional about it. People ask me, you know, who are starting out, how do you find your style? And what you sh definitely shouldn't do is try to like stick to a style. Try everything, do everything that you want and constantly have it evolve. Don't try to stick to one thing or put yourself in a box because you'll get bored of that real quick and then you might stop making your old salt together. Just have fun and explore and that'll all fall into place by itself. Protecting your artwork is important, especially if you live out in the desert like I do, where the sun is gonna eat away a mural twice as quick. 
What you want to do is use UV protective um, paints that are all outdoor rated. That's the most important line of defense. Another thing you can do is use graffiti deterrent slash UV deterrent solutions to put on top of the mural. I like one called Vandal Guard. It's non-toxic and it's pretty cheap. You can get it on Amazon. Um, and it gives everything a nice semi-gloss finish without any yellowing. So uh, be sure to keep that in mind because you don't want your stuff to look like crap two years down the road. So you're ready. You have 10 photographs of 10 pieces of work that you really like. You think other people will like them. And uh, you want to take the world by storm. So make yourself a website. You can do that using a lot of really awesome and sometimes free website builders. Uh, make yourself an uh, email with a domain name that correlates, make some business cards, be professional about it, and then just start sending out letters and get ready to get rejected and have some fun with it. Um, it's all part of the game. The good news is the more you do it, the better you get at it, the more walls you get, uh, more commissions, less rejection letters, and it's just all part of that process of getting better until you're at the, the level that you wanna be at. And that's the fun of it.